Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we're doing a review on this bag here. It's called the Longchamp Le Pliage Backpack. Um, it only comes in the one size, so um, no other sizes, but this is a really good size in my opinion. Um, it's a good bag for travel um, but keep watching if you want to find out what it fits what it looks like when we wear it and we'll go through a couple of things about this bag so this backpack is one of long chance um, most well not most popular but one of their popular bags uh, their most popular bag is the tote we've actually did a review on that so we'll leave that in the link down mm -hmm. below um, but we only own two or three bags from Longchamp. One of the mm. big totes, the smaller tote, and then this backpack. So this actually comes in a lot of different colours, as you guys are probably aware of. Um, this also comes in different colours as well, so like a black leather. Um, and this one does come in like a different leather as well, right? Like Phoebe's one was like a more of a... It's like um, a smooth black yeah, leather rather than It's more than expensive. The, um, embossed, mm. yeah. Um, and it's like I said, it's really, really convenient for travel because you can fold it up. So yeah, um, we'll one, show you how. Yeah, to fold one it of up. the most, um, I guess, iconic things about Longchamp as a brand is that they are very convenient in terms of folding um, it a certain way, so you can store it away um, if you need to put it in like another bag or like your luggage. Um, it's also um, super light mm -hmm. as well. Like it's got pretty much no weight to it yeah. at all. It's, Pretty, I don't know what um, what kind of material this is, but it's like it's a nylon. Oh yeah, yeah it's nylon. It's, it's nylon. nylon. That's why it's so light. Mm. Uh, and the good thing about this bag, even though it only comes in one size, the straps are adjustable, so it would fit anyone of any height and size. So super convenient bag. Now we'll go on to the wear and tear of this bag. Um, not. Um, a lot of noticeable wear with this bag, um, especially with this kind of material, is really quite durable. But the most wear I find that it gets is the corners, um, where it does rub against certain things. Um, it kind of can develop a hole over time, so you just have to be careful. Um, so I'm not sure if you can see that. Maybe but we'll insert, yeah, we'll so insert yeah. something um, later. Maybe but later. Um, I also, um, it happened to my other tote as well. Um, I had it for many, many years and it just kind of slowly um, enlarged and now it's like a giant hole. Um, so you just have to be careful with that. But also, um, I don't think it happens to a lot of bags, but um, I noticed that there was just a small loose thread on um, my backpack um, okay. when I used it a couple of times. But um, no, other than that, like it's pretty much scratch proof. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's scratch proof. Yeah, it's really easy to clean. Yeah, um, Phoebe's chucked her oh um, <laughs> really light coloured tote in the washing machine before, and she was like, "No, it came out great." So yeah, um, I can, don't know if we'd recommend it, but yeah, you can put it in the washing machine. I don't know, but clean. you can try. <laughs> um, um, also, because this, I find the zip really easy to go in and out. It's super smooth. Do you yeah, find that it's a very smooth yeah. um, zipper. Mm. Uh, oh, actually, this one here, because it is leather and um, it's not treated or anything, mm. um, it's Quite, it's kind of like a suede material, so you just have to be careful with that because it can, um, I don't know, like... I think it's easy to stain and it's easy yeah, to scruff. Stain scruff and, and scratch. Yes, mm. scuff, that's the word. <laughs> yeah. So we actually use this bag um, when we travel. I think this is mainly our travel backpack. Yeah. Um, whenever we go yeah. on holiday, we find it super convenient, especially at the airport as well, you just use it as a backpack. Mm. Um, so I yeah I normally use mine for travelling. I use mine in uni as well. Oh yes, yeah. so it's a uni bag as yeah. well. Yeah, um, I had a uh, eleven inch MacBook Air. Um, they no longer sell it, but it was a really good size because it fit perfectly in this backpack. Um, mm. So just bear that in mind. It won't fit a thirteen thirteen inch laptop. So but it'll fit like yeah. an iPad. Or yeah, an iPad. IPad. Yeah, your it fits a lot. Yeah. But size yeah. like I find it fits like a drink bottle as well um, your notebooks mm -hmm. you can yeah fit a lot of things apart from like a 13 inch or yeah. bigger yeah. Uh, laptop anything um, bigger than an 11 inch mm -hmm. probably won't fit I'm, I'm just wondering can you get organizers for this bag as well I think it, it, there yeah. probably is some company out there yeah I think it'll be for a backpack yeah, yeah because there, there are no compartments in this mm -hmm. bag except for that one 
pocket in the front. Um, so we here. don't have an organizer for it. So if you guys yeah. know of any website that sells um, organizers for the backpacks, let us know. Because yeah. I feel fine that that would be super. Yeah, convenient. that would be handy, yeah. especially for travel, so you know where yeah. everything mm. is. Don't have to rummage through. Because mm. our tote, we use an organizer for our tote, but yeah, with a backpack, you need a specific size and everything for it. So we don't have one. <laughs> So this is the end of our video, we hope you found it informative and um, if you have any other questions about the bag then let us know down below and we'll see you in our next one, bye!